So why is the area of a circle pi r squared? Well, we could imagine a triangle whose height is equal to the radius of the circle that we repeat around it a bunch of times. If we look at the shape and get its area, it's pretty close, but of course it's not a circle, it has pointy edges. Instead, we can imagine a really slim triangle and we repeat that all around the circle. That pretty much looks like a circle until we zoom in really close and see that in fact it is flat edged. Now, we don't really need to know the length of it, but since it's really small, we'll call it DL to be fancy. Now, the reason why this small length doesn't matter is because when you have multiple triangles of the same height but varying lengths, if you just want to know the total area, you just need their total width. You can just do some distribution and the area will still be one half the height times the width. And now we'll look at the circle again and see that the total length is just going to be the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. And if the height of all of them is r, then we just plug those values into our formula, cancel out the 2's, and we get pi r squared. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe, etc. And if you would like me to make future videos, feel free to comment any suggestions and also donate to my Patreon. Um, by the way, this is the math we did, and it's actually calculus, but if you understood the, the, the video, then you understand calculus.